we're at the airport and we're on our way to Lanzarote. We've just gone through security and I left some liquids in the bag, which was a really stupid error, but it's done now. So we're gonna do a little bit of duty-free shopping. Just boarding, we're really excited. It's about a four hour flight, so not too long. Hello. Hello. Here. Are you coming on the aeroplane? Yeah. We're just going now to check into our villa. So we've just got our baggage and it's nice and easy to find. Here it is, Optima Villas. Our transfer vehicle that we've got and it looks very nice indeed. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the front of the complex for the villas and we're staying in number 43 which is Casa Piscina. Just a little layout here of the complex for all the villas. <laughs> We've just come. It is beautiful. Oh wow. Now we're just gonna go and check out the pool area. I am so impressed for how much we paid for this villa. I think it's stunning. And here is our lovely pool. Perfect size for what we want. There's eight of us, so this is ideal. And there's a barbecue there at the end as well, which we're gonna use this evening for some dinner. We've had a little swim and now we're just going to go out and grab some food because although it was really lovely and they left us a bottle of wine, some Fanta, a couple of little snacky bits, we do need some proper food and we're hoping to do a barbecue tonight. So we're going to go and grab some meat and some salads. Looking cool, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're going to do now, but we've no idea where the supermarket actually is. So it could be interesting. I've already bring... been in the pool. <laughs> yeah. I'll bring you with me to the supermarket. So we think the supermarket may be down there, but we're just novices and we've got no idea what we're doing. <laughs> like anything, once you've found it, then you'll be absolutely fine for the week. It's just getting your bearings. Oh, what's this over here? This could be it as well. First Aperol spritz of the holiday. And the husband is trying to um, do a barbecue. How are you getting on? We've got any raw meat going on? Yeah, but this chicken is like chicken skin. Look how thin it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's not we chicken had, breast. We had a bit of a nightmare at the supermarket. I think we might be eating out every other night. It's the first full morning here and I have just got up. You can see here, still got the moon there and the light is just coming. It's so still and quiet here. We're gonna venture to the beach today and go and investigate a little bit more and go and see what Playa Blanca is really like. We're walking now to the marina, or trying to. Henry's directing us, he's got my phone there and he's trying to find the way for us. It's gonna be about an hour's walk, we think. It's our first sighting here of the oh, sea. Here, tons and tons of palm trees. It's really, really lovely. It's very quiet everywhere. This is Easter holidays and there's just nobody about hardly at all. But I think when we get down to the front, then there'll be loads of people. Can't believe how hot it is. 28 degrees at half past 10. There's loads of little shops around here, which is very cute. I managed to just go and grab some swim shorts because my brother only remembered to bring one pair, which was a little bit silly. And I got myself a magnet, really silly tradition that I have. Um, I just like, everywhere I go, I like to get a magnet and it just goes in my utility room. But I got this one, I'll show you. It is wrapped up, so I don't know how well you can see that, but it is as tacky as hell, but I love it. Do you want something, Carl? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna pick one, that's right. Oh, sorry, I did ask everybody. I didn't know yeah, where you so were. I've got some milk flowing. Ah, uh, got this for Michael. The Bailey's Frappe. Yeah, what's that? And you've got... Biscoff ice cream. Oh, in a waffle cone. 
We're just checking out some of the restaurants along the front here. Mm. We're yet to find the spoon, Henry. Where do you think it is? Along here somewhere? Oh, wow. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Good. That's amazing. Thank you. Wow. How long did it take you? Uh, two days, yesterday and day before. You need to do it for fast. Wow. Also get dry so fast. Yeah. Clever man. Yes, yeah. Here comes the ferry. Do you think that's the one that um, it goes to Fort Ventura? Yeah. Fast ferry. The water is actually really clear. Fresh. It's fresh though. It is only 84, I suppose. Who is it? Hello. Oh wow, you're gorgeous. Some really nice looking shops along here as well so it's not all your just tatty shops really nice outfits in this one god there's so many crabs they absolutely love these rocks i'm totally freaked out by crabs there's another ferry over here coming in and there's the view back along the bay that we've just come past. Now we're gonna head round the corner and we're heading now towards the marina. My husband just said that this has been spraying up really high over here. Everywhere is obviously very volcanic. It's really stunning. The black rocks against this beautiful blue sea. Look at that. Tons of cactus everywhere. You wouldn't want to fall into that. So just heading round now. Really have got no idea where we're going, but we're just keeping walking round. Beautiful in the sunshine. And we're hoping that the marina is what we can see over there in the distance. I know that these bars are really popular with live music. So you've got the Harp, which is the Irish pub, and you've got the Bikers Beach Club. And if I just step back a little bit, just up the top there, I don't know if you can see that, that is where Burger King is as well. Not that you come to Lanzarote for a Burger King, but you know, someone might want it. They've got loads of water sports here that they're offering. And this beautiful beach, I'm pretty sure this is Playa Dorada here. We're just gonna stop off here and get a nice drink overlooking the beach. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, nice. <laughs> We're going to see how cold the water is. Oh, it's fresh. <laughs> it's a bit. It's a little bit fresh, isn't it? Oh, it's so clear, though. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Henry, look, fish. Yeah, there's, loads of, there's fish all in the water here as well. The beach is so much nicer than I thought it would ever be in Lanzarote. Yeah. Apparently the diving here is really good as well, but we're um we're not gonna be diving. How are the chips, Henry? We've worked out that this is the best supermarket to come to. It's like a big cash and carry. So it's called Cash Diplo and it's huge in here and we can get everything that we need really for the villa. So I'll take you inside and show you around quickly. Yeah, the, the other shop we went into was really expensive and there really wasn't very much choice at all. It was just like a tiny little, what would you call it? Shop. Uh, yeah, like convenience store really. But in this one, we have got choice galore. So we've just grabbed a taxi and we're coming down to Playa Papagayo. Apparently it's meant to be an incredible beach. It's about a 10 minute walk in this direction. 
bit of a dirt track to reach where we're going but that's all good wow look at this absolutely gorgeous that's another beautiful sunny day we are very very happy indeed the hotel that is nearby was called the Sandos Papier Gagel, Papier Gagel, however you say it. Um, but yeah, it was the Sandos Hotel and that looked really nice. So this must be its beach. It's a little bit steep, so we're really glad that we didn't bring the buggy for the little one. So yeah, if you're going to come here, you need to be kind of fit and able to, to do this little walk. But let's hope what we see on the other side is definitely going to be worth the wait. We can see the sea over here now, and there's another island, which I believe is Fortentura. It's really lovely. It's like, a, it's like the moon, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a massive crater. <laughs> I don't know. Go on that way. Just keep keep walking. What do you think of that, then, everyone? Yeah. Cornwall, this is. It does remind you of Cornwall, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, apparently there's loads of beaches, loads of little coves as we go down. So I suppose wherever's the easiest one to get to. This is crazy steep going down here. Wow. And we've cho we've chosen the route that's the easiest route down that we can find. So others were going down sideways. So yeah, it's really not easy to get down. Look at this beach. This is a pretty stunning one, isn't it? The boys are all braving it in the water. It's absolutely freezing though. And I don't like being cold, so I won't be getting in there. I'll have a little paddle. Woo, it's freezing. We've set up on the beach and we're just gonna chill here for a bit. When you're ready. We just had a guy come up to us on the beach and gave us this little leaflet here, which is a little menu of what he does. Let me show you that. There you go. So you've got sangria, mojitos, wine, snacks, soft drinks. So we're just going to walk over here. Apparently it's just in a van, so it's quite handy. Keep us refreshed on the beach. I think a wine will go down really well right now. We've just come back with the drink. Oh, you're happy? Yeah, we're all happy chappies. <laughs> Beers, mojito. Henry's got a really cold Coke and they were ice cold, aren't they? Whoa! <laughs> and we've got a bottle of Prosecco for four euros. Can't go wrong with that. We're just getting ready for the evening and we're off to Arabella's at the marina. So I'm really excited about that because I've just heard so many amazing reviews about it. We're all starving because we didn't end up going out for lunch today. So we've all had like a few snacks, probably a few too many drinks. So yeah, we're gonna kind of pop out now. We're gonna go grab a taxi actually. And I think we're gonna go to, I can't remember the name. It's sort of something like Oasis Bay, I think it is. So we're gonna go and grab a cocktail there. And then, yeah, make our way around to Arabella's and I will show you what we have to eat and drink and what it's like by the marina. <laughs> Look at this. It looks really lovely, doesn't it? Who's this, eh? No? You want shade? Yeah. Yeah, I want shade, but if anyone wants some, they can. It's a gorgeous little spot here to spend our evening. So we just ordered some drinks. Um, just left my mum and dad in the bar here. So this is where we are, the Oasis Marina Bay. It's quite like funky, you know, it's got like a little bit of a cool vibe to it. I really like it. <laughs> they got some sort of candy in it. What was this? And a... Cappuccino cocktail. Nice. And I've got a glass of wine. Oh, it's lovely and cold. 
We're just walking now to Arabella's. We're all starving, so we're looking for some really good dinner. And I really fancy a good steak tonight. Super windy this evening. Whoa, hope you can hear me okay. But this is Arabella's. We have arrived. Look at the size of this halloumi starter. Oh my goodness, it is absolutely huge. And garlic prawns as well, they look yummy. It's now Friday morning. This holiday is going so, so fast, but we are really enjoying it. And now this morning we're gonna head out. I think what we're gonna do is we're either gonna walk or get a taxi, we're not sure yet. Um, and we're gonna head down to, towards the front. Um, the others are all gonna go on the beach and with my son and my husband, we're gonna grab some bikes and we're gonna go and really venture out and see as much of Playa Blanca as we possibly can. And then we're hoping to also just have a little nosy at the restaurants, maybe find one for tomorrow night. This afternoon, then we're going to just come back, chill by the pool, and we're going to have a barbecue. So it'll be a nice, relaxing evening because also we was out at Arabella's last night, which was lovely. But yeah, we just felt like, do you know what? Let's just have a barbecue. And the supermarket is literally across the road and has everything we need. So it's perfect for us. So we're down by Playa Dorada Beach and this is where we're hiring bikes. So this is Sunny Rent. So we're out on our bike ride and we're heading right down to the literally the, the end point of Lanzarote and hopefully then gonna go north from there. But it's about 5k. This section of beach is, is um, got loads of rocks around it, so the water is really, really calm. And you can see some divers just coming up there, so it's really great for like a practice dive. It's very, very pretty. The water is super, super clear. This is the Tui Blue Flamingo Beach up this end. We've come past the Ibero Star as well. That's the gorgeous beach that is in front of that hotel. We made it this far already and we're just heading towards the lighthouse now. Up here we've got Buenos Aires which is the grill which has been recommended and then we're thinking we might actually try this place which is called Mumbai. So it's a lovely Indian restaurant and that has been highly recommended. And that is right at the end here of the marina. So you've still got a really beautiful view. The boys are just stopping off for an ice cream. Look at this, beautiful sunshine. We've just parked our bikes up. It's a really great way of getting around Lanzarote and the scene as much as possible. I'm really glad we found that Indian restaurant because I think we're gonna book that now for tomorrow night. And then after this, we're gonna head back to the pool and just chill for an hour or so. What did you both get? Lemon raisin. Caramel. Oh, delicious, look at them. The prices of the wine here is just crazy. That's the one we liked. Look at the price. 2.69 and it's actually all right it's not bad at all and my dad likes this one this rose 2.41 euros wow no wonder we're drunk all the time good morning it's another beautiful sunny day in lanzarote and we are heading off to the marina and apparently there is a market there God knows what that's going to be, but that's what we're doing this morning. So just the girls are going, which is actually really nice. So I'll take you around the market with me and then come back. And then the plan this afternoon is we're going to go to Aqualava, which is the heated, apparently heated, I hope so, water park, um, which is, everything isn't too far away. And taxis have been so, so cheap. So taxis around four to six euros for everywhere that we have wanted to go. We've literally been ringing them and within, I would say, literally minutes, I would, and I'm not exaggerating, about three minutes and they are buzzing at the door, ready to take us. So that is absolutely brilliant. So easy to get out and about and you feel really, really safe in Lanzarote. I totally recommend this as a villa place to come. 
so many stalls everywhere. I'm trying to get um, Henry a football top if I can find one. My sister-in-law's there. She's just getting my brother a really nice leather belt. Um, really good quality. There's literally everything. Clothes, jewellery, kids toys, belts, leather goods. Just, yeah, everything you could want. We're now just getting a taxi back from the marina. Gonna head back to the villa and grab a nice cold drink and then get ready for the water park. This holiday has been non-stop. So we've now had a little bit of lunch, just literally grabbed like a tuna sandwich, so nothing exciting. But it has been great for getting gluten and dairy-free products in all the supermarkets. So that has made my life so much easier. So now we're off to the water park. We're actually gonna go and take a walk, take a stroll down there. I think it's gonna be like 20 minutes, half an hour walk, but we're, you know, we're good for that. If we need to get a taxi back, then we will. On quite a tight schedule because the water park, which we're going to, is the Aqua Lava water park. So I'll bring you along. And um, the tickets are half price after two o'clock. So we thought, do you know what? Three hours, it's open to, you know, till five. So three hours is gonna be plenty for what we need. And then hopefully we'll be back by five, just after half, like five half five something like that and then we are off to the mumbai restaurant um at the marina which is an indian and we're gonna get dinner there tonight so yeah pretty non-stop i think tomorrow we're gonna have literally like a complete chill day just by the pool at the villa but for now let's go 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 i hope they know where they're going because we've been walking for ages already <laughs> there is a water park over there but we think that is the Dino. We don't know the full name, like Dino Water Park. Um, but yeah, we're looking for Aqua Lava because it's heated and apparently a lot better. Looks like we're in the right place. We can see the flumes in the distance. You're coming on the side. Oh, I don't know if I am, Henry. You said if there's rings and there is rings. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> That was a really fun afternoon. I think um, for us, that was perfect amount of time just for the afternoon, so you can get your tickets a lot cheaper. Instead of being 23 euros an adult, it was just 16. So now heading back to the villa, and we're gonna go and get showered and ready for dinner. My brother's just seeing if he can grab a scooter for the way back, just to give it a go. I've never done one before. Don't fall off, Carl. Just making our way along the marina now and we're going to the Indian restaurant which is called Mumbai. I'm starving so I'm really looking forward to this. Fancy something like a biryani or chicken tikka. I ordered the chicken biryani and it looks incredible. Look at that portion size, it's huge. Like on the edge. Yeah. Like what you had? So you've got your name there, yeah. That's just you. Wow, look at that chicken tikka. Wow, my, my love a pizza, that. You can. And salad. And what have we got over here? Chicken tikka masala. Wow. Looks incredible. Let's show them what we've got here. Rogan Josh. With lamb. And a gel crazy down there. That is gorgeous. Just the right temperature, spiciness. What did you go for? Chicken tikka masala, medium. Medium, and it's spicy enough? Yep, it's got a lovely kick. Nice. This is my biryani, and it's delicious. And I went for medium on mine. That's spicy enough for me. Look at these ice creams. How incredible is the choice? What have you got? It's a blueberry cheesecake. Wow. Is it this one? The one with Philadelphia? Granddad's gone for the cafe Manticado. Yeah. It's Sunday morning, so we've only got two days, four days left of our holiday. And we're planning today to go down to the Flamingo Beach 
So that's where we're heading now. We're just going to grab a taxi and get down there and get some more sun. I'm not sure I need too much more sun. I'm a little bit red, so I'll be covering this up a little bit today. I think it was at the um, water park yesterday. I just caught it without even realising because obviously you had all the cold water on you. And But yeah, it doesn't really matter, so it's all good. The water down at Flamingo Beach is really, really still because it's in a lovely little bay. So maybe we can get some paddle boards out, have a little paddle, have a little swim. Um, and then we're going to come back here later and have a barbecue and just have a little swim in the pool. So this is the Tui Blue Flamingo Beach. And it's all little apartments. I've got little swimming pools. And it goes down to this gorgeous bay where we're going to be going for the day. So along this section, you've got some restaurants, you've got a supermarket, bar, and then you've got this beautiful bay down here. It's very, very still. Just had a lovely drink in this bar and look at this stunning view that we've just had. I'm just gonna turn around so you can see which one it is. It is at this bar here, and this is at Playa Flamenco. Flamingo, 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 Flamingo. Keep getting that wrong. But yeah, we'd recommend this. It was really cheap. We had uh, several beers, a wine, a Coke, a Shandy, and it was like 20 euros. It was nothing. Lollipop. And you got a lollipop? <laughs> yeah, the guy gave it to me. Bonus. check out maybe getting a takeaway tonight sorry it's a bit bumpy we're in the taxi right now um yeah we're gonna have a look at the asian restaurant that's down there seeing if they do some sort of delivery and maybe we could just have something like that at the villa because we've had a few barbecues now <laughs> we've been out a few times and to be honest i think we're all pretty tired now though the water is pretty cold there's loads of people swimming in it and even snorkeling as well we didn't have our snorkels but we had goggles and my brother saw quite a few fish people even said that they saw some stingrays in here as well it's the final morning and I'm all ready. I've just got to literally just get changed into this and just finish packing that bag. It's one of those really, you know, when you're kind of ready to go home, but not ready to go home. But the good news is that it's really cloudy this morning. So hey, that kind of makes it a little bit easier because if it was bright sunshine, we really wouldn't want to go home. So we've got a taxi that's collecting us. So that's all been organized and paid for really nice and easy and simple i'll leave the details of the taxi company that we used below so if you want to use them as well you can this villa has been exactly what we wanted for our stay it's been big enough to accommodate all eight of us with literally no problem at all absolutely tons of room the terrace up here that you can see behind me we've actually not even hardly even used this it is quite windy in lanzarote so really i'd say this is more for for daytime rather than eating in the evening but obviously it depends what you prefer the location's been great we've been able to get a taxi everywhere that we've wanted to go been really nice and easy managed to walk to the water park and we've actually walked to the beach and back one day as well so just depending on how far you're happy to walk i really recommend the location here as well value for money it's been absolutely excellent you know we cannot fault this holiday at all and the supermarket the um, cash and carry one that i showed you really super cheap i mean a bottle of wine is like two pounds something it's crazy we've all said that we would come back to Lanzarote because we think it is so clean so safe so easy to get around and everyone's really friendly and we've so enjoyed our stay here so all that's left to do is just get ourselves to the airport and get home and I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and if you did hit the like button below and subscribe to my channel and of course please leave me any comments let me know if you go to Lanzarote if you've been to Playa Blanca before or if you're thinking about going and you've got any questions or any questions about booking a villa and a flight set put then I'm more than happy to help you if I can thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video bye